often asked about what's the most amazing thing I saw in space. And I have to say it was on the Hubble service mission, and I was doing a spacewalk with my partner Tom Akers, and our job was to replace the solar arrays. One of them had rolled up like it was supposed to, and we were going to bring it home for in post-flight inspection. The other one had refused to roll up, and it kind of rolls up like a double window shade. And it refused to do that, so we knew we were going to have to throw it away in space. And so that was part of our spacewalk. And so I was on the end of the mechanical arm, and I had grasped it, and Tom was, was undoing the connection so that we could take it away. And we had to do that in the dark because we wanted minimum current flowing through that connection we were about to break. So he broke it loose and, and I was holding it and Claude Nicolier, our arm operator, moved me up and away from the telescope. But then we wanted to wait until sunrise to let it go so we could see it and know that we were separating from it. And so I was just holding it for a while and then when the sun started to come up, we got to go for release. And Tom was watching from the cargo bay and the rest of the crew was inside and they had the IMAX camera in one of the windows. And I simply just let go of the solar ray. I, I didn't throw it, I just let it go and it was floating in front of me. Uh, Claude pulled me back and then Ken Bowersox, the pilot, fired the jets on the orbiter to move it away from the solar ray. And that jet plume hit the solar ray, bent it in half, and then it sprang back out. And we watched the solar ray cruising over the deserts in the Middle East, sort of flapping and tumbling like this giant bird, like a pterodactyl over the deserts and that was an absolutely mesmerizing moment to watch that and I had the best seat in the house on the end of this arm. I had nothing obstructing my view and just watching this incredible scene and unfolding in front of my eyes.